Hey guys, this is Eric from Sprite Trader and Dark Horse Coins. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I tried to upload a video early, which I did, but there was no volume audio to it. So I'm just doing another record. Um, hopefully this will just be fast. We're going to go over Ethereum and Cardano. We're on a weekly chart. Um, I'm just going to show you some key areas that was retested before we went higher. Um, being a retest trader is... Uh, very pivotal in your trade journey so this was resistance right here as you can see all right and we like to have uh zones all right so your retest is going to be a zone it doesn't have to be defined as a precise area such as just right here at resistance <laughs> so this is resistance we broke the resistance we came back down we retested this was the buying opportunity all right we're going to go up right here we're going to notice that we had the same opportunity you had resistance right here remember when resistance is broken it becomes the what new support level so we want to see price respect the level and come back into All right, <clears throat> price broke, price retested. All right, buy an opportunity. All right, this was the uh, was it last week? We broke. We had resistance here. We would like to see if price can come back and retest, but I don't think we're gonna get that, guys. I think we're gonna go ahead and pile through, and we're gonna go up to this upside target. My upside target for this is around 1,000, uh, 1,097 region for Ethereum, and I believe we're going to reach that. So that was my upside target for it. Uh, maybe from there we may get some form of a correction or resume higher. We are still in a channel. We got the top channel, which is all time high, and then we got the low, all time low. We stayed within this channel for three years, guys. Or if you basically for the life of uh, Ethereum, in order for us to really see the big, huge upside targets, we're going to have to break this zone. I do have the upside targets on, on the chart, which is right here. All right, so this is where I believe Ethereum will eventually head to is here all right that is 1800 to the 2400 dollar region this is where we expect it to be uh we want to see all-time highs from 2017 18 we want to see those highs serve as a level of support uh, once we break this level we want to see something like this maybe like that to a retest and then you know come higher Okay, so remember when, sorry about that, when support is broken, it becomes a new resistance. And when resistance, when this level is broken, it wants to serve as what? Support. All right. So that's what I have for um, Ethereum. We have one day. Well, no, 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 no. I'm sorry, we've got one hour before this, uh, one hour and 34 minutes before this weekly candle closes, and then we'll start a new week. Okay. I will go down to the daily if we want as well. Nice push up. If we do get a retest, it'll be right here. All right. But I don't think we're going to get that right now. But if we do, this could be a buying opportunity in this area. Uh, we're far away from the moving averages. All right, so it's pretty good. All right, that's that. Cardano. And move this stuff out chart for y'all.
All right, here we go. I already did a um, chart on this, so this one shouldn't last long. All right, well, you see key levels that was retested. See, this resistance price broke, retested, entry point. Okay. Um, of course, we went up to the upside down here. We came back down and we retested this area again. All right, this was the level of what? Resistance, price broke, found support on what was resistance. All right, and now we're in an uptrend. All right, we're around 20 cent. My upside targets for this one is a 31 cent. All right, we want to we want to hold these levels to the upside. All right, we're going to go on the weekly so we can get a better look. All right, look where we at, guys. We got a lot of upside potential. We got a lot. All right. A lot to cover. We have to go up to the upside and fill this wick to your left. See this wick? We need to fill this wick. This is resistance because we got a support level. This is a channel as well, too, guys. We got to get out of this channel if we really want to talk big time ball game. All right. Got to get out of this channel. Upside targets would be $1.77 to $2.00. Twenty, maybe five cents, somewhere in there. All right, these are the upside targets we want to see. We do want to see price hold above the level that was made all time high. We want to hold strongly. Okay, this is what we want to see. All right, we don't want to see price staying too long in this channel. All right, we've been in this channel too long. It's time to break out. We don't want to see this channel ever again. Okay, we need to stay healthy in this market. All right, but. And for right now, the near targets is going to be around the 31 cent to uh, 34, 35 cent. This is the region that we're looking for uh, Cardano to perhaps come back into. Um, we just broke out of this little mini, what you call a, a bull flag. Yeah. And we already really retested these levels. It had broke down to 19 cent to retest, but now it's starting to rally. All right, we got a like I said, we got an hour some change left before we get a new candle. All right, let's see how it rolls. Um, right now, this area is serving as uh, resistance. Still, we gotta break this area. We gotta break this area. All right, we need to break this. Close above, retest, higher. We're real satisfied. We've been in the Cardano since um, one cent, two cent. We loaded all up into this area here. And of course, we was loaded up in this area back over in this, in this area as well, too. So we're sitting pretty on um, Cardano um, for that. So that's pretty good. Uh, Moving average is pretty good right now when it comes to that. So, yeah, so like I said, that's that's all I have on Ethereum and uh, Cardano. Uh, everything looks pretty good. We look healthy. Uh, see if we can sustain these levels. But what I will do is I will see if I can screen some potential crypto plays uh, for some of you newer players in the game. Um, I know some of y'all feel like some of these things are running and you want to get on the base level. So I'm going to do some screening and I may do a video on uh, a couple plays that I believe that you can get in on. All right. So y'all have a great one.